What's going on guys? Today I'm bringing to you an overview of Lux Algo and some of its new features. I'm excited to bring this to you. In my opinion, this is the best trading indicator out there on the market right now. Uh, it has got a whole package and plethora of tools that you can use uh, for confluence in the market. All of that stuff is in one simple, easy to use package. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, Lux Algo has got something for you. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you can see more videos from me here. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so that you can see why I think Lux Algo is definitely a winner. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Um, as you can see here, guys, there's a bunch of different indications here. Uh, we've got green and we've got red signals here. Basically, what Lux Algo is providing you is a comprehensive toolkit so that you can become a better trader, have more information at your fingertips so that you can be more profitable in your trading. Uh, essentially, this is a great tool for technical analysis uh, as trend following tools on here as well, and as well as being able to find out uh, reversal indications, optimization, all that good stuff. Um, basically, you can use uh, Lux Algo to be a standalone indicator, um, but you also can use the signals again for confluence uh, to give you that confirmation of if, if this is a good move for you to make uh, on a buy or sell. Um, I recommend with the indicators um, that you use maybe two to three of them. Um, to suit your trading style, to see what's best for you. Um, and we'll go ahead and get straight into it here. So if you wanna go ahead and click on this, um, you can double click on here. It will open up the, the different uh, preset filters here, signal modes, sensitivities, candle coloring, all that stuff. Um, and right now, I will tell you this, the if you look over here in the dashboard area, uh, it's showing optimal sensitivity. So you can use this dashboard to give you an idea of kind of what the market's doing and what recommended settings uh, they would recommend you use. So with this, they're saying an optimal sensitivity today uh, using this chart. We're on the one hour chart on Ethereum. It would be a 15. So if we click in here and we go ahead and change this to 15, uh, that would set us up uh, for some good success uh, for the signal triggering and things like that. Hit OK, OK, and then you may see it change, but let's go back into this now. Now with the signal modes, you can actually change these to either confirmation and exits or contrarian exits, or you can do none. Um, I'm gonna leave it on confirmation for now. Now with Lux Algo Premium here, what you've got is you've got different indicators such as normal confirmation signals with the green and red indicators here. The strong signals are marked with a plus. So if there's a ton of confirmation, it's gonna have a plus, uh, which gives you a pretty good idea that these signals can be uh, a little bit more trusted before you make your trading decisions, things like that. Um, and then also, the uh, it basically kind of helps you confirm trends and things like that and swings in the market. Now, the next thing I wanna mention here is the candle coloring, okay? So with the candle coloring, the green is showing an indication of a strong trend. Uh, the purple is basically indicating that there is no trend, essentially. That's what these are doing here. Um, so you can kinda understand that. You can also change the candle colorings if you want um, and do different stuff like that, uh, which we can do here. So if I tr switch it to this, uh, it will change them. Also, we have exit signals uh, with the blue and the orange X's indicating possible good spots for profit taking. Uh, so that's something you guys can check out. And you will notice as well with using these that you will see a maximum of three X's per signal. So do know that there is a limit of three X's per signal. Uh, and you can use this on confirmation or contrarian signals mode and you can switch to that uh, with this here. So if we switch it to that and hit OK, you can see that our signals have shifted a bit uh, and the X's are still there as well as the other features here. Now with contrarian mode, this is basically for traders who like to trade against the trend uh, and spot reversals. So that's what this one's for. If that's something you're into, you may wanna use this type of signaling mode. Now with this indicator as a whole, you will get six plus indicators that allow you to visualize the market trends, uh, find reversals, uh, and as well as getting dynamic areas of support and resistance. That way you guys can utilize these 
for your trading, have a better idea of what's going on in the market and when you think this would be a good time to take some profit. Most people like to use one or two of these overlays, but I'm just trying to showcase to you guys the different ones that are available. To adjust your settings, you can click on, uh, double click on one of the signals or you can click the little arrow over here and go to the, uh, the settings cog here. Um, that will be for the price action uh, and as well as the signals and overlays, we can adjust that right here. So if we hit the settings wheel there, that will pop up as well. Now, if we go ahead and switch on the trend catcher mode, that will adjust uh, the chart here for you. And you can see what that looks like with this. Also, if you wanna use the smart trail that's already configured at the moment, uh, you can use that or you can turn it off uh, with the click of that button there. So as you can see, smart trail off, smart trail on. And then there's also the Neo Cloud and we can click OK and you can see that. So that is pretty interesting here. And then after that, um, you can also do, um, you know, just showing reversal zones. Uh, we can hit OK on that and that will showcase basically only where reversals are happening. Um, so you can see that. And then also, um, I'm gonna turn that off. There's a trend tracer. So you can see that and we'll wait for that. And this is this little, um, these little hashes here that you can see here, um, or little plus symbols actually. And you can kind of get an idea of a lot of different data points to help you make good decisions. Um, so I'm gonna turn that off. And if your dashboard is missing for whatever reason, you can just re-enable it with the click of this button here and you'll get your dashboard back up. Um, and with this current view here, um, it's telling us we are at, you know, maybe you should use a 17 uh, on the sensitivity. So I might change mine a little bit. There is an automatic um, setting adjustment that you can do and you don't have to do any of this. Like if you're a beginner and you just wanna set it and forget it, uh, you certainly can do that. As far as this being beginner friendly, I would say that it is, uh, or it can go very, very in depth for technical analysis and things like that. In addition, there are some other things you can do such as preset filters. Um, you can also switch to different modes such as the trend strength filter, which will show you uh, the chart in this manner here. The trend tracer filter is another way that you can view the chart as we show you there. Um, that was also a way you can modify it here with this one. Essentially, all of these different presets you can go through yourself and kind of see what you like and what kind of data it's providing you uh, and decide for yourself what's the best uh, setup for your trading. Now, I'm gonna switch mine back to confirmations mode with that. And I'm also gonna turn off some of these things here um, that I don't really wanna see right now. But back to the dashboard, you can see optimal sensitivities, trend strength, lux volatility, squeeze, and volume sentiment. So these are a couple things that, that can help you understand what kind of what the market looks like today, um, things like that. Realistically, there's a ton under the hood here. You can really go nuts with this, or you could go as simple as you'd like. Um, just understand that just because some signals are triggering, um, don't just solely rely on this alone do your own research. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. These tools are essentially for educational purposes uh, to help you get better at trading and they are not to be taken as financial advice. Now, as I mentioned before, you have your normal signals that are just either a red or a green um, without a plus and then you have your plus signals here. Basically, you can utilize the correlation of the candle coloring to accurately see the development between the trends and navigate through ranging markets as effectively as possible. Um, you can see here uh, we have a normal uh, downward trend here and then the candle coloring switched to purple which basically indicated it wasn't in a trending downward uh, position, it kind of stayed level in the downward area. Uh, then we started having a dip here, which showcased with the red coloring. Um, and then the green started to ramp up some momentum again. So as you can see, that's kind of what you can utilize it for um, as like a way to gauge momentum in the market and to see for yourself kind of, uh, are these signals like a good signal or do they ha have enough behind them to really take it uh, you know, to the bank, so to speak, 
for making those trades. Red to purple can sometimes mean that the market is in an uptrend. So if you see here, um, based off of this, the red is showing right here that there was like a downward trend here. Uh, and then it started to step up as you can see. And so red to purple can be a good sign. Um, again, not always the case, but these can give you some indications that we may be looking at an upswing here. Now, real quick, if you see that the candle coloring keeps flipping back and forth a lot between red and purple, uh, that could indicate that you're in a ranging market and that there's not really an established trend um, for the candles to all stay one color, kind of like here, um, stuff like that. So, and then over here as well. So that's just something for you to know that can indicate uh, some ranging going on. Now, for example, a positive sign here uh, for a uptrend occurring is that we're seeing some stable candle coloring here, uh, as well as some good price action that can indicate that we are looking at an actual uptrend and not just like a fake out. So these are just a couple things to look at uh, in your confirmations. Now, like I mentioned, these kind of signs here may indicate to a trader that the market is in an upswing uh, and an upward trend. Uh, and vice versa, if you see a bunch of red candles, that could now indicate that you are in a downward trend if you're seeing a ton of red candle coloring uh, going one way. So that's just something for you guys to utilize uh, for your trading. In addition, Lux Algo does not repaint. So I have had questions about that in the past. Lux Algo does not do any repainting. All these signals are confirmed uh, and permanent on the chart upon candle closing. Now, one strategy you could do is utilize the combination of the candle coloring along with the confirmation signal to determine if this is a good sign for a positive or negative trend um, and not just rely solely on just this as a, you know, a signal saying it's going down, that you know, that this is a time to sell um, or something like that. So utilize both together to get yourself um, a really good idea of you know what the market may be doing uh, so that you can act accordingly. Now with the plus symbols on the on the confirmation signals here, uh, you can really be a little more confident that the market is in an established trend. So you may want to utilize the positive symbols um, as basically your guide um, on you know, are we looking at an established downtrend? or we look at more of an established uptrend, and now we're not just in a ranging market constantly. Lux Algo has had a large focus on discretionary analysis um, built into their contrarian signal modes uh, in the signals and on the overlays. So that's something that you guys can utilize um, if that's the type of trader that you are. Now, if we pop back over to contrarian signals here, I'm gonna go over something with you. Basically, if you're someone that doesn't like to trade with the trend or you're looking uh, to just create a strategy with signals by trying to catch the tops uh, and bottoms, or if you like to trade um, in ranging markets more than trends, uh, this may be something that you may want to use. So that's just something that you can consider. So if you're using contrarian signal mode, you may want to go ahead and change the candle coloring to do the same. So we go in here and do candle coloring and click contrarian and hit OK. And that will change it to this here. So you can utilize this feature in combination with the contrarian signals mode. By combining these two features, you can now notice uh, that the signals may perform a little bit better um, than the standard confirmation signals, uh, which are specifically designed to confirm trends. So if you utilize uh, the contrarian mode along with the contrarian candles, uh, that may be something that will benefit you greatly. You could also use the trend catcher mode here as seen in this area to essentially um, get a hybrid approach uh, to analyze the underlying trend within uh, the ranging markets. Uh, and these tools are exclusively available to you in premium on Luxalgo. Um, and it's truly usable for any style of trading, uh, whether you're beginner, intermediate or advanced. Lux Algo is really an amazing toolkit for you to use. Um, if you go onto their website here, uh, you can enhance your trading experience. You get 30 days risk free. Uh, if you don't like it, you can get your money back. Um, I'd really consider checking out the yearly. Um, I think that it's really a good idea. Um, you get a lot of savings this way. 
So consider doing either one you want, monthly, quarterly, yearly. If you want to save the most, you can save about 40% uh, doing yearly. And the monthly, if you wanted to just give it a shot, see if you like it or not, that's cool. But I just I really stand behind this company and what they're offering. Um, I, they have tons of tutorials and resources, guides, um, and as well as a great Discord group with a lot of active traders in there. You can learn from yourself. Um, and it's a great community. I really stand behind it. And if you've been ever thinking about adding a toolkit uh, to your trading uh, to try to start making a little bit more profit on your trades, Lux Algo is the way to go. Uh, make sure you hit the link in the description uh, so that you can get access to this amazing tool. Um, and if you'd like to use your uh, any coupon codes, feel free to use some uh, to get a little extra savings that way, depending on your time seeing this video. So I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit the like button on this video if any of this has been helpful. I'm going to do some more videos of Lux Algo going forward, uh, and uncovering some more of the features for you guys so you can see a little bit more, more depth uh, on the whole package, the whole kit. Um, I also have a great settings video that I'll link somewhere here. Um, for optimal settings, things like that, um, so that you guys can learn as you go. And I really encourage you to watch that one. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and turn on those notifications so that you can see more videos from me. And um, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do advise you to check out my next video, Be Alpha. Mm -hmm.